Hi everybody, my name's Legend of Lillian, and we're back with, uh, number three of the Silent Age, which is actually number four. So, it's been a while since I played the last one, but we just climbed through this window using a rug. Take the broom. Crazy people. Because no one in their right mind would actually do that. Nice. Nice. I wouldn't get too excited. Bottle of turpentine. Corrosive and flammable. That someone's probably you, in all honesty. It's locked. Okay. Still locked? Okay, can you hit it with the broom? Oh, a lighter. Why do I need a lighter? No. I set the turpentine on fire. Use your broom and your janitor capabilities. Look at that. A hook. <laughs> Perfect. Is that the only thing that I needed down here? Really? Yay! This gadget is very handy. I want one. Bone saw. I'm pretty sure the goop means it has been used, but that could just be random fancy. Oh. Why would you want to cut through a car, though? That's no fun. Man... What was the point of getting the syringe? Oh, okay. I need just a little bit of turpentine. Why, I have no idea. Just a syringe full of turpentine now. Okay, and then we burn it. Whoa. Oh, it's smoking out the bees. Gotcha. Or hornets. Okay. Clever. Why well, I, I couldn't just set the nest on fire? I don't know, but. And then, poof. Come on. 
It's like, no kidding, it's open. Chapter 5. Sure. The corpse? Is that what that said? Well, that's fun. We'll just walk down the corridor with skeletons and picking up tools. Still locked. But you are not. Why do you keep cutting yourself and like getting shocked whenever you pick things up? Like, aren't you careful? It's not that hard to pick up scissors and not get cut with them. Joseph, sir, pull yourself together. Wow. Yeah, I'm a genius. Didn't know that, did you? Oh, hi. I'm just gonna look through your desk. Don't, don't mind me. I'm not here. Ambulance key, small key. Was there anything in here that needed a key? Yes. These things. Wait. Oh, the time traveler. Okay. The right number to find his file. Well, I don't know. So did that doctor just stand there and die? Oh, okay. Mm. Cut the tag off. Four nine one oh two, is that it? Is that the number I need? Because Joe is just so nonchalantly stealing a toe tag off a dead guy. And the doctor just doesn't think it's weird that he's suddenly showing up behind him. I have so many questions for you, Joe. Yep, 49102. Okay, let's go steal an ambulance. Here, out on the road, everything seems so normal. Same moon, same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's easy to forget all about that dead world back there. How could Lambert have survived, though? If he came from the future, how did he not die along with everybody else? I just saw his body in the morgue. Now I'm driving out to talk to him alive. How does that work? 
Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that it? Are there copies of me all over the place now? Yeah, because I've been using that box a lot. What if he's not there? What if I changed something and he's not alive at all? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. Maybe there's nothing I can do after all. Maybe these will be my last days, along with everybody else's. Ugh, the thought ties my stomach in knots. No, I better just not think about it and carry on. Did I bring enough gas? God, I hope I brought enough gas. I'm gonna guess you didn't. Okay, so that was, um, four and five, the entry and the corpse, and then we're going on the island, where Joe is gonna have to talk to Reginald Lambert, which is the time traveler from, apparently, the first one. So, um, we'll have to explore all those next time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like if you liked it, and thank you for your Cutters make quick work of the chain. What better way to investigate vandals than to get into their shoes, Carl the professional vandal thought, reveling in the irony of the situation. Yeah, yeah, so ironic.